All right, we're out here on the range. This is my 24 inch um, Savage Barrel uh, 65 Creedmoor and an Aero Soulless Obsidian Action and an Aero Soulless Chassis Athlon 5 to 25 Optic. Um, the gun has literally like seven shots through it and um, we had one uh, that we had a fail to ignite, which don't know if it was a primer issue or what it is. So I actually pulled that bullet Put a new primer in that case and we're going to try that again with our first five shot group it's going to be the first shot and then so that's 140 grain botel hollow point from hornady with uh, h4350 40.5 grains and cci 450s then we're shooting the same exact load um, but with uh, 140 hybrids we're going to do five shots and then the same load with uh, 140 grain eld match so uh, just gonna get a few more shots through the uh, rifle here and make sure there's nothing going on with ignition uh, I don't think there is, but, um, you know, we won't know until we, until we shoot them. So, gun is cold, it's not clean, it's, uh, what did I shoot these rounds like two or three days ago, so, or it's been shot like two or three days ago. It's a warm day, but there's no breeze, um, so there shouldn't be anything weird hopefully happening. Alright, so, first shot here, and, uh, again, this is that same piece of brass that we had the trouble with before. No problem with it now. Drop that one really low. So not a bad group for a, uh, a savage barrel with a random load. Those five shots, we averaged 26.77 with an 11.6 SD. So, uh, you know, good numbers there for ignition. And no weird stuff, even on the one that we had loaded before. So it wasn't an issue with headspace or anything, people had commented. Okay, let's go with the 140 grain hybrid target. Still getting used to this trigger too. It, I lightened it up, I adjusted it as light as it would go, but I can only get it to like 1.8 pounds. It's a, it's a Timney Elite Hunter, I believe. All right, 140 hybrid. Well, these 140 hybrids are pretty long and it looks like they're kind of wanting to hit into the breech face. Probably could adjust the mag a little bit. Well, it looks like the Savage Barrel's kind of throwing the 140 hybrids, isn't it? I mean, it's not terrible. Again, this is a factory Savage Barrel I pulled off the of Savage and put in this arrow uh, action. So, you know, not surprising that we're not just absolutely killing it with the groups. Um, the other day we shot a really nice group with the 140 uh, Botel Hollow Point, but... Uh, Again, this is a factory Savage barrel, so we're not exactly shooting a match barrel. This literally came out of my Savage. Uh, let's see, velocity there on those five. 2652 with a 7SD. So again, ignition seems to be going pretty good. Nothing weird happening. And then the last one here is with the 140 boat tail. Or sorry, the 140 ELDM. Now, I hit that one with my finger coming out, trying to catch it. Man, I wish I wouldn't have thrown that one up way up high. Again, a factory savage barrel here. So... Don't judge my group size, but um, anyway, I'm pretty happy with that. Again, I'm just so pleased with the, the, the bolt. It runs so smooth. Um, it's been cycling pretty good. We had a couple of the 140 hybrids that I think because they were so long, they were wanting to dive into the uh, face of the, the tenon because these savages have a very flat tenon, um, almost no cham uh, chamfer at all. So obviously we could account for that um, whenever we chamber our own barrel. But let's see. 
Again, those five, we averaged 2769 feet per second with a 7.84 SD. So um, good SD numbers, looked like we had good ignition. We didn't have anything weird happening with ignition today. So it kind of confirms to me that that one the other day was just a, a, a bad primer, I guess. So anyway, um, definitely showed some promise. Again, factory savage barrel, you guys see the group size, but you know, Definitely fun enough. Definitely worth putting on here and playing around with because it's been quite fun. And um, again, I have an affiliate link for uh, Aero Precision. If you guys want to go ahead and support the channel, you can go ahead and click on that affiliate link. I'll get commission if you buy anything. So hope you guys enjoyed this one. Thanks for subscribing and we'll see you next time.